Hi, Sag. <clears throat> the Sage. Sagittarius. I just saw your... Uh, your constellation or your zodiac. Half human, half horse, right? I guess you just always want to make sure that the horse is the top. Uh, interesting. What are we trying to say? Hold on, Sagittarius. Sometimes your energy is trippy. Well, you want to take a big breath with me? I had a really full day today. How about you? <clears throat> so. And I heard, what a beautiful, maybe you need to say this. Someone needs to say, I heard someone saying this where they're like, I've had a very beautiful, full life. Um, there's also something about Jupiter which I guess we're talking about expansion, blessings. Um, there's some kind of opportunity or blessing that's been happening for a while. Um, maybe for some of you, this comes through a man or, uh, and in addition, it also comes through um, like your headspace, um, being more settled. Okay. And then I also saw Neptune, which to me is always very musical. Um, it's about, it's about being, uh, being in tune. I see like a tuning fork. Uh, now, if we combine these two things, Jupiter and Neptune, or either let's let's talk about the positive, like, and the the challenging aspect because you're a dual sign, so sometimes you can flip from one to the other very easily. Sometimes it happens inside of your head and not like outside of your world. Um, so it's just good to be like <laughs> aware of this you know, you as a mathematical equation is like, you know, there's multiplication and addition and subtraction and brackets, right? There's, there's like these layers to it. And really what you're trying to do is simplify it. But at first it can seem sort of complicated, right? So in, in the positive, should we start with a positive or end with a positive? Let's end with the positive. So let's talk about the hard thing first or the potential challenge. Well, this could be an expansion of confusion or like an expansion of like, I don't know, things are sort of foggy or un, like nondescript. Now, that's the interesting part about intuition, right? Intuition is like, it's, it's a, oh, I believe, I feel like this. I feel like this is going to happen. I, I, I have a sense that this is like that. Um... Kind of same as confusion, but intuition is, is usually like a positive, right? Can't explain it, but it's there. So, I guess when you don't know, or if you become confused, it feels overwhelming. Try to boil it down to the simplest thing. Like, I heard, what am I really worried about? Or, what is the worst case scenario? And then you'll just realize, I heard that you've already been there, done that, whatever that means. And, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's happening now. Because I actually feel like for most of you, there's something that's really beautiful that's, that's coming to you. Um, and I see, I want you to be accepting of what that is. The birds just started singing a really sweet song. Okay, now, 
let's look at your overall energy is kind of interesting. So when I was first tapping into your energy, I was like, I, again, I had a long day. I went and did a whole bunch of things, spent a lot of time. There was a lot of people around me. It was really awesome, actually. I did a lot of socialization, which I've been being, like, kind of insular. Again, we're all connected. Hi, Sag. So... <laughs> point is is that it felt really good and then I came home and um I was like oh I, I want to do this and so I got right into it like really fast and then I was like wait a second like let's just chill and I kind of put forth like a bit of intention and prayer and allowed things that's also a Jupiter Neptune thing is like allowing something to come to you instead of Oh, I heard fighting against it. Um, maybe it's something going through you, too. You know, remember, some feelings, they're for you, but they're not, like, for you to, like, hold and be always the vessel of them. Sometimes you are the, like, you're just meant to feel it, you know, um, see how you work. So you have the first card you received is some someone is thinking of you which I thought was interesting. I haven't come across this card yet, and it's actually the opposite of anger, which is a good thing. So, someone's thinking of you. This is Mars energy. So, um, now what's interesting is you also have this card of mourning, like the mourning dove. So for some of you, this could be a person that has passed over that's thinking about you and wants you to know that wherever you are right now, you're good. You have the Six of Pentacles with that, which is a person that has enough. It is a person that has enough to give. Um, they take care of themselves. All the basic things are handled. And actually, there's a lot of opportunity, something... Uh, something's in an equal position here. It's it's not like one way is teetering or another. So So I heard don't don't you don't have to worry right now. So whoever you talk to on the other side, if you will, this could be your spirit guides. I also see this as a person, literally, that maybe used to be here that's not. It could be your father, your grandfather. I feel more masculine energy. I guess it could also just be like a fire person or an air person. These are both masculine. Um, interesting. Okay, let's let's move into the next section. So we have Eight of Wands. What is that with? Oh, affection. Beautiful. So it's communicating affection through your energy, through your words, communicating love. Um, it is... Again, I see just even your energy. I heard it. Do that doesn't mean being perfect. It means like, I'm grateful. I am grateful. Maybe you want to say that. I am grateful for what I have. I, uh, the love in my life, the friends that I have, the family that I have, the house that I have, the money that I have, the the people in your life that aren't here anymore, or the pets, or whatever. Anything that you've loved that isn't, oh my god, I want to cry. You know, Sag has been getting their butt kicked for the last two years, right? I felt it too. I have a lot. I get it. Like, there's been beautiful blessings. But, like, there's been some hard stuff throughout that. That's just been kind of like, whoa, right? 
Um, and if it hasn't even happened externally, it's happening internally. Do you know what I mean? So I want you to give yourself credit for that. And don't forget to also receive. Because I think a part of this is like, it's a giving and receiving of love and affection. Uh, you know, those tears were interesting, that emotion that came. It was like a little, it was like a little wave. It didn't pound me down. Like, like, uh, you know, your face into the sand and dragged along the bottom. It didn't feel like that. It felt like... When, when it felt like... I guess it felt like a full feeling. Like, again, remember we were talking about instead of something coming at you like a wave, it was like it goes through you. Maybe you want to practice that a little bit. Like say when someone says something or the, even the energy of being in the same room, even if it's quiet or, or whatever, you could be sitting outside and there's not even any humans around. It's the feeling when you're silent, particularly for you probably but but there's something about that coming in and really feeling it, whatever it is, because I feel like we're saying this word feel so much. That's good for you. You know, I know it's scary to Sag. It's super scary. It's I think feeling astrologically to me, it's the scariest to feel through Sag and Aquarius. Those two. um A little bit of Gemini, but th those ones, um, it's the way it aspects the moon, you know, but I heard nothing to worry about feeling. So your next portion is very interesting. You have the card of embarrassment which is another Mars energy. Then we have the, the card of profit or gain, which is Mercury. And the first thing I saw when I saw this to get, they came out exactly together. And the first message I saw was, some of you are embarrassed to be successful in something. Like, I don't know if you're already successful and you just want to admit that to yourself or it could be previous in your life or right now or it could be like there's a beautiful opportunity but someone's like, I don't know, like if I deserve that or this kind of, this kind of, um, you know, it'd be kind of like uh, the the example I'm seeing is like, Say someone gets an inheritance, right? Something, again, is given to them. But, oh, this is interesting. When have you received something that you feel like you didn't work for it? Like, super, like, you didn't do it all by yourself. And it's almost like that's what causes the embarrassment. Is like someone gives you something. Maybe that's love for some of you. I don't know. Or like, could be money. Or it could be... And you know what? If for some of you, say in the past, maybe you didn't make correct financial decisions at some point. It doesn't matter. You want to look at where... Well, it does matter if you... If there's... So you don't make that same... You know, we all make you know, whatever, bad decisions sometimes about what should be done when or how, right? That's, that's okay to know. But don't, I heard, don't sit in that so much too hard because 
this could be one of those things where someone's like, oh, well, I, I don't, um, you know, I'll always be poor or like, I'll never retire or, um, <clears throat> denying again, some kind of opportunity. Please don't do that to yourself because the card that came out with that is the ace of pentacles. So I actually feel like some of you are going to be granted a gift, something in the physical realm. Or there's some opportunity that you have in the physical world to do something new that actually profits you. It profits your family. It's it's like it's a new stage or cycle of something. Um, but I heard that doesn't mean you're scrapping a whole bunch of other things. It's just where you are now gives you some kind of gift. And maybe that's a bit of that Jupiter and Neptune. So I heard please don't be embarrassed where you're like, you know, say someone's like, here's a hundred bucks and be like, no, I don't want that. Like, or like, here's this, like, here's a house or here's this opportunity. And it's like, no, like, don't just shut something down because I feel like whatever is being shot your direction in coming towards you it is out of affection. Okay. Now, you do have this card. The next chunk is you have this card of warning, which is interesting. In French, the word is advertisement, is warning. So I'd say watching too much TV might be... I heard be, be aware of propaganda. This could also be comparing yourself to people on the TV or the Internet or whatever. Please don't do that. Most people in that world are fake, right? Not everyone, but most most of them. It's trying to get you to do something, right? And it's just like, no, what, what I heard, what do you want to do? So let's see actually what the warning is. Oh, okay. You have your card temperance. Very interesting. So again, you have someone is thinking about you, which is in this physical world now. Again, I see you have help all around you and lots of opportunity for growth and expansion and st there's steadiness here. I also see you have somebody on the other side. I mean, this could just be on your side, like in this physical world, but I also see like this other realm. That's like, this is like a guardian angel to me right now with this. So actually, maybe you want to think about the times when your life was saved. Like, really, you're like, oh my god, it was a miracle that I didn't get hurt then. Or like, that, that, that I'm good. You know what I mean? That I have this, or have my life. I have this, you know, the house didn't start on fire. <laughs> or like, I put that fire out, you know. I, whatever, think about that. And I would say it's a really nice time, especially in a daily way. As those of you who are into prayer and again wherever your spiritual space is please tap into that because there's a really clear communication with that right now too like because if there was something that you weren't supposed to accept like as you go along it, it's almost like your ain't your guardian angel or whatever you call it your spirit guides there's there's something beyond you that's going to either let you know <clears throat> that something's not okay or that you need to slow down or speed up or whatever to be in the right place. Um, what else do we see? I forget what the what the opposite of temperance is. Maybe gluttony. So maybe for some of you, I guess the warning could be if you are eating too much or eating out of like stress eating or um, if you drink, you know, out of I heard out of stress or, you know, Make sure when you're interacting in this bodily realm that you're doing it out of because it you're in a good mood, right? Like, oh, I'm celebrating. I'm going to have a little glass of wine or like, 
you know, you did something and it's like a, re then you do the reward after. But I heard not directly after, right? Like the other day I was digging a hole and uh, it was really hard work. And I had some good emotional support, which was great. Um, but it's, someone asked me, they're like, do you want a glass of water? And I was like, no, not right now. I want to finish this. And then when I did, then I sat down for a minute and I caught my breath and I kind of relaxed into my body. And then once I centered, then I had a sip of water. And I'll tell you what, it was like the best thing ever because I think of that little bit of patience in between. Does that make sense? Now, part of the reason that I also feel like whatever this prophet is, whatever this, um, this good energy that's coming towards you, you also have this card of fortune, which is a Saturn card. Oh, interesting. You got the blank card with it. What's the, what's the other card? Oh my God, the King of Cups. What's happening there? Hold on. Well, what is King of Cups? This is intuition, high level intuition, right? It is a person that understands how their emotions work, have been through a whole bunch of life. Like they are very kind, they're very sweet. Um, they're a little mysterious. <laughs> they're, they're still like, how do, they, how do they do that? Or like, how do they work? you know, from the outside, but like who they are they they can some King of Cups sometimes can confuse other people, but they're not doing it on purpose. It's, it's that it's like they know themselves so well <laughs> that it seems confusing to other people. But again, that's not the intention. Um, this is also a very faithful person. Uh, the strong Pisces energy. Oh, Pisces and Saturn and Pisces. Um, you know, how do I explain this? Nine of Cups. I was wondering whether we should look to, again, like if this was trying to express what we need to be worried about or like what the energy is. Well, apparently, <clears throat> excuse me, it's nine of cups. So fortune, 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 the, uh, I'm I'm break I'm trying to break down this word. It just split into two. Uh, so what is this? Four is 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 towards something or or the line that connects it. Right. This is for you. And then it's tune. So that's almost for fortune is is sort of Jupiter Neptune. Fascinating. So again, there's something coming towards you, Sag, that's really beautiful. But I guess to receive, someone has to let go of something. Um, and you know what's interesting? There's no swords on the board, so it's not a time to overthink something. It's a time to... Uh, love and put energy out there it's a time to receive love it is um 
Also, the physical world is really highlighted here, meaning like, actually, we talked about this in your yearly reading. I think it was two years ago. C-shape, right? Zoomy showed us that C-shape, which is what, what comes back to you, what you put out comes back to you, right? It's like boomerang. So it's not to be worried about where you weren't perfect. And I guess for you, it would be learning to receive because you're ruled by Jupiter, so you're always going out, right? So it's about this learning to receive, too. Um, I heard, remember, fortune, good fortune can come back to you. Um, fascinating fortune. So I guess whatever's coming towards you, however this is, it's about your frequency too. And I heard how you deal with what's around you. And um, I heard and realizing what you can do. And wherever you need help, you have it in the physical world. That could also be a way that some of you are gaining also is, I don't know if this is your talents or just putting yourself out in the world more. You know, maybe it is having new people come into your life or more people come into your life. You know, that's a way to gain is connecting, right? So, yeah. So, and I know sometimes the mind is strong, right? And feeling is hard. I know. So, I guess, remember, the only fortune that you're in charge of, technically, is your own, your future, your present. It's like you, you hold a big, you, I heard you hold your own hand of cards in that. But in some way or another, you sort of get a blank slate here. <clears throat> and so I would suppose that a part of it is also as the six will then turn into the seven is realizing whether you feel like I don't know you're worth it And I would say the only warning here is to take care of your body, meaning with the Six of Pentacles, it's not about overdoing it. Okay, this is just a real regular, like, just doing what you have to do during this time. But that, but there is a little bit of... Um, well, I heard love really replenishes you, you know? Love really, love and faith, which is Jupiter and Neptune, will replenish you. And actually, this fortune card is the highest card. And in this deck, the highest number is the most significant in the spread. So let's see what this has to say. Hold on, this is in French and Italian and German. Where are we? Mm, well, I just saw the word easy going. Good. What number are we looking for? 48. So this breaks down to the, to the strength card, justice card. 48. Sorry, it's hard to read in the dark. Uh, there we go. Says, this is a very good card which often brings fortune either through gambling 
I'd always watch that with you. But um, inheritance or a donation. And I do feel like there's some kind of giving here. Uh, just a second. Just cross-referencing. Okay, we're good. I saw it, don't worry. It says, try hard to see your friend again in uh, in order to settle happily whatever divides you. So maybe for some of you, that would be about that. Is like, You know, maybe for some of you, it's, I don't know, it could be like saying sorry. Or, again, just reaching out to someone that you haven't talked to. Or maybe you thought, oh, that person doesn't like me. Or whatever. Whatever it is, it may have just been, you know, if, if there's any, like, boundaries between things. Or, again, I don't know, anger or, or any of the stuff that's, like, blocking the love, I guess. Whatever's happening there. Like, just remember how loving. Maybe you want to think about when you, I don't know, like, if it's felt different about love or where there wasn't sadness around love. Maybe you want to even, you could even go way back when you were a kid, like, when there was only... Like when you, I don't know, like, go back to the times when things were simple, I guess. If you ever get lost, okay, and then realize that all those things in between and now, now you're here, and again, good fortune, right? And maybe there is some kind of reconciliation with that Venus card and the Eight of Wands too, which is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Wands and the, and the Ace of Swords looking at one another. Good, it's things coming together. Air and fire. Beautiful. Okay. I feel tuckered. I'm going to pay attention to my body. I hope this was helpful. And you enjoyed. Maybe you got to see a little bit of the sunset. Alright. Thank you so much for being a part of this place. Any of you who are still here. Especially. Uh, thank you also wherever you give your love. And kindness and patience and where you listen and feel thank you for your blessings and your knowledge and um, your kindnesses you know I'll talk to you next time